an American tourist identified as John Allen Chow has been uh, presumably killed by tribals who are protected and live on the North Sentinel Islands in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Now, according to the police, some fishermen took him to the island on the 16th of November and claimed they saw him being attacked with bows and arrows. He was then dragged to the beach and have buried in the sand. The fisherman fled back to Port Blair and informed his associate. A hunt was launched uh, by the authorities there uh, for uh, John Allen Chow, who is around 27 years old. Authorities are conducting helicopter uh, sorties over the island as well, but not being able to land because the Sentinelese uh, tribe is traditionally uh, very hostile. Well, well, let's go across uh, to Monedipa now for more uh, on this entire story. And, and Moni, it's very, very curious why this American person would try to go to this island, which is, uh, you know, this tribe is protected. This island is very, very remote and it's known that you're not supposed to go there. So clearly uh, he made those fishermen take him there. And now uh, it, it's, not, it's not clear whether he's been murdered. Uh, what are the authorities saying? Uh, well, indeed, it's a most unusual, unusual incident. And uh, details of uh, the motivation for uh, John Allen Chow to go to the island are not 100% clear. Uh, but uh, according to the editor of Andaman Shikha and other authorities that I've spoken to on uh, the islands at Port Blair, uh, Sanjeev Broy, uh, the editor of Andaman Shikha, he said that apparently John, John Allen Chow had come several times in the past to Port Blair. This time round, he came about uh, three, four months ago. He was staying at a hotel and he was in touch with a local priest or preacher called Alex. And apparently it was his avowed uh, intention to go to North Sentinel Island and, uh, you know, meet with the tribals, perhaps to converse them. This is all hearsay, and I cannot confirm this just yet. But these are the first reports out of Port Blair right now. So on the 14th of November, uh, Mr. Chow apparently convinced some fishermen to take him to North Sentinel Island. They went there, and they were greeted by very hostile uh, tribes, uh, the Sentinelis, who are a protected tribe, and you are not supposed to go anywhere near that island. And the fishermen knew it and still took Mr. Chow there, but it was so hostile that they came back. Again on the 16th, uh, they uh, went back to the island in a fishing boat, in a mechanized fishing dinghy, and they, uh, Mr. Chow carried a canoe with them, with him, a canoe or a kayak kind of thing. And then, according to what the fishermen have told the police, uh, he went uh, and got into the canoe and headed off to the beach on the 16th, uh, once the fishermen had dropped him at the closest convenient point. And the fishermen have apparently told authorities that they saw Sentinelis uh, shoot arrows at him. He was hit with an arrow. Uh, he fell, he was dragged onto the beach and half buried in the sand. And that is when the fishermen, seven of them who have now been arrested, uh, that is when the fishermen fled back to the uh, island of Port Blair on the 16th. And they got in touch with Mr. Alex, who was Mr. Chow's contact associate at Port Blair. And Mr. Alex, uh, I believe, informed the U.S. Embassy in New Delhi, informed uh, John's mother in the United States. And that's when all the emails started to happen. And the U.S. Embassy, uh, uh, we understand, uh, got in touch with the Andaman administration to take some steps to do something about this situation. But that's when the Andaman uh, Island authorities uh, started running helicopter sorties over the Sentinel Island, North Sentinel Island. They haven't been able to spot the body yet. But what we are told is the police case has been filed.